Okay, in our last lesson, we left off on the uh, finishing the middle ground. Um, I have some other colors in here, some other layers in here, some different versions I've made, but I wanted you guys to see uh, <clears throat> that for the middle ground, uh, I drew it in just like it would look like if the foreground just disappeared, like I like I'm able to do with my drawing, making it appear and disappear with that visibility check over here on the right. Okay. Um, do the same thing with the background. Okay, so I'm going to hide my middle ground so that all you can see is my original sketch. Um, I'm going to minimize it a little bit uh, and then add in a new layer. So I should have a transparent layer on the very top over here now. There it is, layer number 16. Uh, and now the nice thing about my background layer is I have mostly geometric shapes, so it'll be a little bit easier for me to uh, to build this stuff, okay? Uh, the downside is that my computer is super laggy, so everything I do, we have to wait a few minutes, uh, not a few minutes, a few extra seconds for it to uh, catch up. Super laggy. All right, so I'm going to, yep. Oh, well, that's too bad. Um, we'll talk, have to talk about that later, okay? All right, so for my background, I'm going to do use a uh, tinted shade of orange, like this, okay? And then I'm going to find my, my brush tool, make sure it's set at five pixels with a hard edge. Come on. I'll just click on the five pixel tool, change the softness to zero, step to zero. And now I can uh, start drawing in my, my background layer. I'll start right here at the edge. I like to go off the edge a little bit and come back just to make sure that, oh man, it's super laggy. That's okay. All right, and then I'm, for my barn, because it's all geometric shapes and, and straight sides, uh, I'm going to use the uh, shape tool, and I'll just outline it with this line. It's still set at 5 pixels, so I'll start right here and draw this edge, double-click to draw this side, Double click and I'll just outline the entire barn, making sure that I don't have any gaps in my corners. If I have any gaps in my corners, then it won't work when I try to use my fill tool later. I think I've shown you guys once to draw the barn, but I'm going to do a couple things differently this time because I found them to work better. Now, normally when we construct with uh, things with these geometric shapes when we do it so that they're not filled in we get all these lines later that we have to erase that don't look good so I'm going to make geometric shapes uh, that are full so I don't have those extra lines in there later so I'm just copying the same color again I'm making sure it's full I'm on the square tool and I'm going to just make a, uh, a big rectangle to represent this silo just like that Try to make it as close to my sketch as possible. And then I can even use the circle tool to uh, to fill in come on, circle tool to make this top side of my uh, round part of my silo. So I'll line it up at the top of the circle and the edge and drag it across. Question? Okay, well we'll have to talk about that later. Okay, it might not have automatically saved, so you might you might just have to do it over again. Sorry. Uh, all right, so I'm working on the wheels now. 
Got one wheel, that looks good. Smaller wheel. That looks good. And now to build the the uh, rectangle parts of the tractor, I'm going to add in a new layer. I'll add a new layer for the top part, and then again for the other side. So the side, so I can see what it's the the shape. Oops, it's still a circle. I want to switch over to the square. Oh, it's like one little mistake and. All this lag. Okay. So I'll get my square shape and I'll try to get it about the same size. That looks good. And then I can use this arrange tool and bring it over here. Come on. There we go. And this little circle at the top will rotate it. Okay. That looks good. You to uh, open another layer for the other part of the uh, tractor. That's the front part. It's about this shape. Looks close enough. And now I'll use the arrange tool to bring it down here. And rotate it so it's the right direction. So laggy. And it needs to come down a little bit more. That looks good. All right, and the, um, if you notice, all these parts are on different layers. I've added all these layers, and I want them to all be on one layer. So when I use the if I want to change the, the color or move something around, it's all in one layer. So to do that, I'm going to uh, uncheck everything except uh, the layers that I want to merge. So I should have these three layers and this one. I think that's just a blank layer. That's all I've done so far. Uh, so there's two ways to do this. You can, on one of these checked layers, you can click here and then come down and click Merge Visible. Visible means there's a check on it. Or you can go up here and click Merge Visible here. And that's what I'll do. Now, the only thing you need to be aware of is that it will lock this layer. You see that little, that little lock right there? So to continue working on that layer, you need to click Unlock. Okay, now the layer is unlocked and I can continue working on it. I'm going to get my original sketch back up and then I'll zoom in and finish up the uh, these, uh, the hill. Okay, hard tip. Am I on the right layer? Yes, good. Okay, then I can finish up this hill. It's super laggy, but um, I'll just do my best to get this done in a reasonable amount of time. And then anything behind this hill is uh, going to be invisible, so it really doesn't uh, matter. I just want to finish that hill. Okay. So I'll make sure this is connected here. I finish the hill all the way down, take it off the screen a little bit. Then I'll go back to my fill tool. Find it. There we go. And fill in this layer. Hopefully the whole screen doesn't uh, fill in orange. That happens about half the time. Come on. This is the worst the lag has ever been. Wow. Okay, it worked. Excellent. So then add in my uh, other layers, and you'll immediately see that they're not in the right order. Right? I got some different colors in because I want to show you that later. So I need to, this top layer, 
needs to come back behind the other layers. Like that. There we go. Okay, and now I'm finished with uh, my background layer. Uh, now for the sky, I want you to hide all these layers that we've done. And you'll add in a new layer. And it's going to be just like our demo. Okay, my new layer is going to be uh, red. Okay, so I'll come down, I'll choose red right here. No, not that. Yeah, that red, that works. Right there. Click OK. I'm on my new invisible layer. Use the bucket tool, fill it in. It's the top layer, so it should be all red. And now I'm ready to start adding in my, my sun. So I'll use the, uh, the shape tool, make sure that uh, it's filled in. And then I'm going to tint my red just a little bit until I can see a slight, a very slight difference between the top and the bottom color here. I'll click, I'll come over here. This is the last color I used, that last tinted cut shade I made right there. So I'll copy that. And now the inside and the outside of the circle will be uh, this tinted red. I'll click over to that the circle tool, and then I'll draw my first ring for my sun, like that. And now I, wanted, I want you to tint about 10 rings that get smaller and smaller. So each time you need to slide this over just a little bit so that you see a slight contrast here. And then also make sure you, you copy that last color in the center. And then this circle started here and goes over to about here. So the next circle is going to be a little bit smaller. I'll drag it down and over a little bit and drag from the top left to the bottom right. And I should have a slightly smaller circle. Now that's a little bit too far to the left, but in the interest of time, I want to keep going. And now I just keep on adding circles like this okay and make sure you copy that last color for the center of the circle make that a little smaller and now you're going to want to have like i said about 10 tinted circles i'm going to pause uh Okay, so I've finished uh, my tinting rings to create my sun. I can add my layers back on top. Um, I need to drag this down. Where'd it go? I need to drag this down behind all the other layers so that it shows up. And then I can click the visibility on the other layers to see what it looks like. Now, one thing you can do. Uh, if you don't like um, your sun is uh, use the select tool, select the sun, and then make a copy, and then make a new red background and move your, your sun around. So I'll show you how.